Recently PHP 8.0 has been released and uh, in this guide I'm gonna show you how to install PHP 8 on Ubuntu, Debian or any of their derivatives. So let's get started. In order to install the PHP 8, we need to add a repository in the system. The default repositories do not have PHP 8 as it was recently released. So it will take some time. But in order to install it, there is a Debian developer who has been maintaining the PHP repository for a really really long time. And we are going to use that repository to install PHP 8 in the distribution. So first of all, make sure you have the add apt repository utility installed in your system. If you do not have, then use this command to install it. After that, we need to add the repository for that execute this command. Hit the enter to accept it. This should start automatically updating the packages cache in the system. In case if it did not, then use the update command to do that. Now we can install PHP 8.0 in the system easily. So let me show you the currently installed PHP version in my system. It's 7.4. If I try to hit the PHP command, it is not going to install any newer version. And if we want to install the PHP 8, then we have to specify that we want to install PHP 8. For that, execute this command that is sudo apt get install 8.0 hit enter. And they're saying that it is going to install PHP 8 in the system and it is also going to install some of the packages that are necessary to the PHP. Hit enter again to accept the changes. So the PHP has been installed. Now we can verify the PHP version again. As you can see the current PHP version now it is 8.0 and if you want to switch between different PHP versions then you can update the alternatives and set the desired default PHP version. So this is how you can install the latest PHP 8.0 in your distribution. Ubuntu, Debian or any of their derivatives Debian based distributions. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did then leave it a like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And I shall catch you in the next one. Till then take care and keep enjoying Linux.